urge to build this place? Well, I've uh, been into classic cars for about 20 years now. I uh, got into it when my son went off to college. And I had a uh, museum over at our old store before we relocated over into this location. So th this is kind of my retirement dream. Uh, I'm officially retired from the hardware store now and turn everything over to Mike, my son. And uh, the, my office is over here and uh, I, I just enjoy uh, sharing this with folks. Uh, this is just my personal collection. It's not uh, ever technically open to the public, but uh, I'm always glad to uh, meet people over here and uh, share it with those that enjoy it. Uh, I keep my cell phone number on the uh, door all the time and invite people if they'd like to see it if I'm not here to uh, just give me a call and we'll set up something. Tell me what all we got here. We got cars and a little bit of everything else too it looks like. It is. Uh, it's just a, a culmination of the last 20 years of collecting things that interest me. Uh, a lot of it has to do with my family and our uh, history uh, here in Williamston and our hardware store in my office. I've got uh, several uh, pictures and documents uh, that go back uh, as far as my grandfather back in 1925 when he originally started our business as a cotton gin and lumber yard. So we've evolved from that uh, through the years. My dad, after he got back from World War II and from Clemson University, uh, graduated there, uh, took over the business. And uh, unfortunately, I lost my dad when I was 15. So my mother, uh, bless her heart, kept the business going until I could get back from Clemson and, and take over and run the hardware business. And um, I've been into building and development and uh, various things in addition to the hardware store since then. So this has just been kind of my outlet that I have grown to love these old classic cars and the signs and the gas pumps and the uh, oil cans and uh, on and on, uh, jukebox, uh, pinball machine. Uh, we've got a little bit of everything. Also, uh, if you uh, share some pictures with them, you'll see the soda shop and uh, my office and then the uh, main uh, showroom for the cars. But behind the showroom, I've also got a shop back there that we work on the cars and maintain them and so forth. And uh, my friends and I have a lot of fun with that. Do you have any favorite pieces that you collected here that you were looking for? Well, probably my pride and joy above everything else is a 1969 uh, Mustang Boss 429. Uh, and the unique uh, feature of it is uh, been within uh, 25 miles of where it was originally sold in Greenville its entire life and was owned by a friend of mine that I went to school with uh, for over 40 years. So um, he technically is the second uh, owner. One guy owned it for a short period of time. I won't bore you with that story, but uh, between he and I, we've owned the car for 50 years. And uh, it's a very rare and unique car. I've had it completely restored by one of the uh, best restorers in the country. Uh, so that's without a doubt my pride and joy. Are you still collecting things? I know you've got an old Coke machine over here and these pumps. Are you still collecting? Uh, not at the moment. I, I've got to absorb all the moving. As you can imagine, this was uh, a, a major undertaking uh, for us to uh, move from our old building and everything that's in here was in the old building. So we've literally packed it up and uh, trailered it over here, uh, whether it be cars or gas pumps or signs, everything else. And then once we got here, we had to uh, go through the process of hanging everything and, and making room for it all. And what kind of response have you got from the community? It's been absolutely awesome. Everybody has been uh, so nice and uh, complimentary of what we've tried to do. And hopefully this can be uh, something that our whole in, uh, community can uh, take pride in and they feel like they're a part of it because that's the way I want them to feel. It, it's not just mine, it's our community. And speaking of community, I understand you're, you're a part of a lot of things going on in this community. You were just working with the food bank. Tell me about the food bank. Well, our uh, church, uh, Faith Presbyterian Church, uh, about 15 years ago started a, a food bank. We saw a need for that in our community and the Lord has just blessed it so abundantly. It, it's just amazing. Uh, the pastor announced from our uh, pulpit on Sunday that just this past Tuesday we, we served 85 families and over 200 people uh, in one day and that's every Tuesday and then we have what we call a big distribution the third Saturday each month so uh, it, it's really uh, something we take a lot of pride in and feel like we're really doing the Lord's work.